to ready and go. Now this question isn't as complicated as it might look. But it does say yes, you've got N left-handed players and two N right-handed players, so that's twice as many right-handed. However, the total number of players it says is less than 20. They have a competition and as a result of the matches, the ratio of left-handed winners to right-handed winners is 3 to 4 and it says there's no draws. So 3 to 4 is the ratio of the total number of matches. Now you don't need to consider the breakdown. One thing you do notice is the ratio of left to right is 1 to 2. But the final result is 3 to 4. That seems to imply that the left-handed players are better than the right-handed players. Just as a quick wee aside just now, because it doesn't ask for this. The total number of matches in which a left plays a left has to result in a left win. So that's going to be those N left-handed players. They each play the other ones. But of course, these are combinations within a group. So A plays B and B plays A are the same thing. So it's a half of that. Same with the right-handed players. There's two N of them. So they play each of the others, which is two N minus one. But again, it's a half of that. Now that would say here, there's still one more group to go. This would say here that you would expect approximately the ratio of left-handed wins to right-handed wins to be one to four, not three to four. Simply by virtue of the fact is there's far more games involving right-handed players. Which means in the mixture, when left-handed players play right-handed players, you'd have each of those would play each of the right-handed. Now they're two separate groups. So A playing B is different from B playing A, so it is just that. That must have been won by quite a number of left-handed players to bring the final result up to three to four. But anyway, that's all by the by, because question just said how many left-handed players are. What's the value of N if that was the ratio? Now, that's the ratio for all the games. So many games were there? Well, there are three N players altogether. I'll just have you check here. That means three N is less than 20. So N must be less than 20 divided by three, six and two thirds. So that's less than or equal to six. So there's not that many players to begin with. If there were six left, there'd be 12 of them, five, there'd be 10 and so on. You can even just enumerate those answers and do it purely numerically. However, if there's three N players in the total group, this is combinations within a group, each of those three N will play each of the others, which will be three N minus one. But it's within a group, so it's a half of that. That'll be the total number of matches. And that's to get split in the ratio of three to four. Notice three to four means three to four exactly. Three parts left, four parts right, seven parts altogether. This number has got to divide by seven. So if this has to divide by seven, and that half isn't a problem here, because consecutive numbers means one of them is even, so that two will disappear and you will just have two numbers, then either that three n divides by seven, so it's a multiple of seven, or the three n minus one is some multiple of seven. Now this one's no use, because in order for that to be a multiple of seven, that number there, k would have to be a multiple of three. So the first one, three, makes n seven, and n's got to be less than six, so that's no use. So this will be the one. So that means that three n minus one is either one lot of seven, or two lots of seven, or three lots of seven. Well, one lot of seven's no use, but two lots of seven is. That makes three n 15, which makes n equal to five. So the answer is C. Now, instead of going through that algebra there, well, there wasn't much, you could have just listed them since n has to be less than or equal to six. You could have said, how many left-handed players are there? How many right-handed? So what's the total number of players? So what's the total number of matches? And the total number of matches must divide by seven. Just to give you an example, if there's six left-handed, there'd be 12 of them, making 18 altogether. So the number of matches would be a half of 18 times 17, since that's combinations within a group. If there was five, there'd be 10, that'd be 15. So it's a half of 15 times 14. And there you go, that divides by seven. And you could check the rest. Now, if the question did ask something a bit more complicated, like what's the ratio of wins between the two groups of players? Then having this answer lets you enumerate that because, I'll just put them down, you've got left-handed 
matches, right-handed matches and left-right matches. Left-hand matches, now I know there's five of them. There'll be a half of five times four, so that's ten matches between left-handed players. So a left-handed player must win. Right-handed matches, there'll be a half of ten times nine. Five nines, forty-five matches. So that's forty-five wins for the right-handed players. Now the left-right matches will be not half off because it's between groups. Five times ten, which is, so there's fifty matches. That makes a hundred and five matches altogether. Which you knew anyway, because if there were 5 plus 10 is 15, if you just work out a half of 15 times 14, 7 15s, that's 105, but this is the breakdown. So how did the left-handed players perform? Well, if the left-handed players won 3 sevenths of the matches, 7 into that's 15, 45, that's 45 matches they won. They won 10 in their own right. So there's another 35 to go, so they must have won 35 out of those 50. But I didn't ask for any of that though, I just wanted this bit here. Many left-handed players were there.